What's going on everybody, Jason here. And today I'll be going over this 2022 Mercedes-Benz C300, also known as the Baby S-Class. If you enjoy reviews like these, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. There's lots to love on the new C300, so let's jump into the review and see what it's all about. For the new style trims, as of right now, on the Mercedes site, you can only get the C300. As for the standard safety features you get with the C300, includes the active brake assist, attention assist, blind spot assist, vehicle exit warning, crosswind assist, active parking assist, pre-safe, which is pretty nice, which tightens the seat belts, adjusts the front seat, closes the window and sunroof in case a collision or rollover happens, pre-safe sound, which helps reduce the effects of a collision on the occupant's hearing and the adaptive braking technology. And with the premium package this C300 has, this will also give you the traffic sign assist and the 360 cameras. But if you require even more safety features, then you definitely want to get the intelligent drive package. Starting with the front of the C300, there is a huge improvement from the old body style. It's more defined and aggressive looking. Where at the bottom, you have this almost splitter-like piece along with the plastic trim area stretching from one end to the other. You also notice the front sensors as well. And in the grill area, Area, it's just the black plastic inserts but you can go for either the sport package or the night package which will give you the chrome star pattern grill there are more sensors in the grill along with the iconic mercedes logo surrounded by chrome and you also have a front camera right above the logo which is a part of the premium package you can't forget about the s-class like front led lights which do come standard but with the premium plus package it adds the led digital light headlamps from the side the c-class has nice rounded off features again similar to the s class you've got chrome around the window trim but if you do prefer having that blacked out then you might want to go with the night package which would be perfect for you the door handles are in both body color and chrome but the side mirrors are body color and black with the camera built in and the turn signal as for these nice looking wheels these are actually the standard 18 inch multi-spoke wheels which don't look bad at all now when you come around to the rear of the c300 this is where more of the s class resistance resemblance is shown. Near the bottom is chrome that outlines the fake exhaust outlets. I think these would have looked nice if they were actually functional rather than just being at the bottom. You've got two reflectors and also rear sensors. On the trunk are the chrome C300, Mercedes and 4Matic badging. Like the front, the rear lights also make it look more like an S-Class and these are also standard LED lights which have a sharp look to them. Opening up the trunk, there is a little bit more space than the older C300 and the only other things that you have back here are the buttons to fold down the seats, hooks, and storage on both sides. Now let's head inside of the C300. The door trim area looks pretty nice rather than just looking cheap like most cars. And at the bottom is some storage space. You also have this floating half armrest area covered in aluminum, which definitely looks unique. You've got your speaker right there, which is the Burmeister sound system and sounds amazing. Above, you have a section of gloss black with the rear heated seat button. And as for the rear seats, like you just saw, these are heated seats, which just cost you extra. These seats may look like leather seats, but it's actually Artico upholstery, which has a nice appearance to it and texture just like leather. Plus, it's pretty durable even during the harsh winter months here in Canada. And of course, these seats are super comfortable for the rear passengers. Dropping down the center and popping out this section will be the rear cup holders. Behind the front seats is just the mat pockets. And in the center console area are the vents plus a bit of storage space. Now heading over to the front, the door trim area is like the rear but with more space at the bottom and you also have a trunk release button on it. Then there are the usual window controls and the side mirror controls which are also power folding. You've got the same speaker setup there and where the gloss black section is, you have the seat controls which are actually touch sensitive so you don't have to physically press them to move the seats. There's also buttons for the driver memory seat and the heated seat. As for the front seats, just like the rear it's the same material and these are also pretty comfortable and sturdy to hold you in place plus you do have different color options and that will depend on what packages you pick you also do get the front power seats which is standard and underneath are just the foot pedals hood latch release tucked away the electronic parking brake and above are the lighting controls the steering wheel is power adjustable which is nice to have and as you enter into the c300 the dash is a bit smaller than normal but not to a point where it looks bad and because this has the premium plus group you also get the heads-up display and then there is this nice looking 
12.3 inch gauge cluster screen which is fully digital there's a lot of customization you can do to this you do have the usual things in the center that you can move around and display but as you see there are other options for how you want the look to be so on the left side of the steering wheel you have the arrow okay and home buttons which is used to control the cluster area and a cool thing about these is that the okay section is like a scroll wheel so you don't have to physically press the button you just scroll your finger up and down or left and right underneath those buttons are the cruise control buttons and across from that are the same home okay and arrow buttons which you control the main screen from or you can use the actual touch screen and below that are the favorite volume and bluetooth controls behind on the left side are the wiper controls and the other side is the gear lever also tucked away behind the steering wheel are the paddle shifters the center armrest area is a decent size nothing too big but opening it up you do have okay room in there now for the actual center console area it's full of gloss black and yes this will be a dust and fingerprint magnet but opening it up inside are just cup holders usb-c charge port and a wireless phone charger right below the actual screen you have this bar it's got all sorts of things on it like this dynamic section which is where you can find different modes to put the vehicle in it has eco comfort sport and individual and depending on what you put it in this will change how the vehicle performs also there is the parking camera button which brings up a ton of different angles and a 360 view that you can kind of see around the vehicle you also have the parking assist which helps you get into a parking spot and if you click on the vehicle image on the bar here you can turn on and off different functions like your heads-up display ESP manual shifting parktronic interior protection tow away alarm and the trunk block also the c300 has the fingerprint scanner which is pretty neat and then you have this 11.9 inch touchscreen which was a much needed improvement for the c300s and not only does it look nice but it's very responsive as well and very very crisp because i didn't find this screen to be laggy at all while i was playing around with it and going through different things so like i was saying on the steering wheel about the screen controls if you press the home or the home on the actual screen this will bring up different sections even on the screen if you press the radio tab you can toggle through the usual radio controls and pressing on the vehicle image in the corner up top will be for route planning the other corner will have the user profile now if you press home like i was mentioning you've got sections like apps which you have a few of them to go through under comfort will be the seat kinetics heat settings and automatic seat positioning there's also ambient lighting which i will touch on in the next section which is the settings section where you'll find the assistance vehicle light and system settings which you can fine tune to your liking and for the ambient lighting you actually have 64 colors to choose from plus this c300 has the premium package which is going to give you also the enhanced ambient lighting which definitely makes it feel like an s-class at night because you have ambient lighting along the dash console door trim and even in the air vents if that wasn't enough for you you can also have a two-tone ambient lighting setup and i'm not sure if you can see the ambient lights but it looks super super nice you also have the phone section along with with the media section under the info section is the vehicle information like consumption vehicle and engine so this tells you how much torque and power you're using plus the boost finally is the smartphone section where you will find your paired phones the top of the screen also drops down for your favorite section so you can switch out things if you want to have quick access up top is your dimmable rear view mirror and here are more controls and buttons which include the interior lights assistant sos and sunroof controls something that is unique on this is the full roof is not glass but it's kind of sectioned off so you have one kind of for the front and for the rear coming around to the passenger side the wood trim on the dash looks amazing and classy just like the interior color options you can also pick different trims and this will depend on the different packages that you choose in the storage compartment there's decent room and as for the key again it's like the s class but it's a nice key and it doesn't feel all nimble and stuff as for what powers the c300 it's the two liter inline four turbo engine with mild hybrid drive so when you actually turn on the vehicle it doesn't sound like a typical car instead it just starts up this engine will give you 255 horsepower and 147 pound foot of torque for this particular 2022 mercedes-benz c300 it does have an msrp of about sixty-six thousand dollars canadian so depending on the options and the features that you pick it could be more or less well that does it for this 2022 mercedes c300 review let me know what you think of this new style or should i say baby s class and like always do you love this or do you hate this?